We're up here at Bacon Rind. You can see it's coming down pretty hard. It's been blowing all morning. We have five, six inches of new snow sitting over a layer of uh, surface hoar and near surface facets. And then we still have that weak snow lower in the pack. So I'm gonna do an extended column test here and see what happens. So it propagated all the way across on that surface hoar on my fourth tap. So that was a four. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, and it propagated across here on the 28th tap. We just did an extended column test and got it to propagate across on the third tap right here on that surface hoar layer. You can see this new snow is not very cohesive. It's just cohesive enough to propagate that fracture. You don't need a very stiff slab to get an avalanche. So even something this soft, uh, you need to be concerned about. Deeper in the pack, we also got it to fail down here on this sugar that it is getting a little bit stronger, but we're still getting propagating fractures. We still could get an avalanche, especially as we load it up with more snow over the next couple days. So two sets of concerns here, the new snow and then deeper in the snowpack. That new snow is sitting on that surface hoar. Uh, you can dig down and if that new snow is bonding well, uh, you don't need to be as concerned as if it's sitting on the surface hoar layer and propagating the fracture.